Hey, what's up everybody? Guy and Kicks here. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over the latest New Balance 996 made in USA. This is not your typical 996 that we've seen in the past, the one that has the CM996 code. This is a made New Balance sneaker. So as expected, the materials on these are definitely high quality. And in this video, you're going to know everything you need to know of this latest New Balance 996. So with that being said, let me show you guys a quick look and let's get into this review. So these New Balance 996 exclusively dropped through the Emily Endor website on February 24, 2023 for a retail price of $185. I'm not 100% sure if New Balance is eventually going to release these through the New Balance website, but as of right now, I haven't seen anything about it. The 996 is definitely a throwback sneaker, guys. As you can see here, it definitely looks like an 80s running shoe, and that is because it released back in 1988. It was only the third sneaker to release from the 99X line, the first being the 990V1, and then the second one being the 995. With the 996, New Balance basically upgraded the 990V1 and 995 because when you look at these three models or three silhouettes, they look very similar. They have a lot of similarities. And some of the key changes or key upgrades on the 996 are the New Balance was able to make this model like a hybrid version and it was basically intended to be worn at the gym and also as a running sneaker. New Balance also added a dual density C cap midsole to support the end cap wedge. And as you can see here on the mid so where you see the end cap that material there is not like your typical foam i believe it is a polyurethane material so it definitely feels a lot harder than most of the midsole of this shoe they also added a two-tone outsole composed of blown and carbon rubber when it comes to the colorway you primarily have a navy on the upper of the shoe you do have a lighter blue color on the mesh and then all the way to the back of the shoe you will find a tan suede above that you will find some white leather and then you have a mostly cream and navy midsole on the outsole you have black and off-white colors in terms of the details and materials that they use on these 996 starting with the inside part of the shoe the insoles are mostly in the navy color and you will find some new balance branding on the heel part in white the sock lining here is mostly that black material i'm not sure if that's like a microfiber or if it's like a nylon material but when you touch it it does feel smooth it's not like cotton or anything like that it does have a nice smooth feel to it around the ankle collar you do have this cotton type material and that is in white on the front of the tongue you do have some new balance made in usa branding and also the 996 number these come out of the box with these white laces they do come with an extra pair of navy laces but in my opinion guys if you can get a pair of cream or sale white laces i suggest you definitely do that because they look so much better i was able to look into my archive here and was able to grab the cream laces from the salehi Bembry 990v two and I slapped it on these and let me tell you guys that is a nice little detail and I suggest you guys do that if you grab this pair. The upper layers of the shoe is primarily made out of that premium hairy suede in the navy color. On the heel part of the shoe on the heel counter it does switch over to a tan suede and that suede is a lot shorter and smoother than most of the upper of the shoe. The underlays here feature the mesh material and that is in the lighter blue color. On both the lateral and medial side you will find the classic New Balance logo and that is constructed out of a leather material. All the to the back of the shoe underneath the heel counter you will find a plastic heel stabilizer that does have the new balance branding on the lateral side and above the heel counter they added this nice white leather material where you will find some new balance branding the cushioning system on these 996 features end cap as you can see here the end cap branding on the lateral side and then below that end cap technology you will find a mostly foam midsole flipping the shoe over to the outsole mostly black outsole here with a sail white color there in the middle and then all the way to the heel part of the shoe you will find some new balance branding and also the carbon rubber heel in terms of sizing with the 996 i thought i made another mistake because i recently reviewed my first pair of 996 i'll leave a link here you guys can check that out i bought that shoe in a nine and a half but that was an older 996 and i decided to go with that size because it's a made in usa and i mostly go with the nine and a half being that my regular size is a size 10. with these i did the same thing i got them in a nine and a half and then i realized that I should have gotten with the size 10, but I guess the sizing and fit may be a little bit upgraded in this new version of the 996 because I do feel like they're just a tad bigger compared to my older 996 in the same size. So I got lucky there and I did the right thing 
going with my regular Made in USA size. However, if you're someone who likes a more loose fit, then I suggest you go with your non Made in USA size, like your 2002Rs, your 9060s, for example. If you're someone who's never bought a New Balance sneaker before, I go with a half size down for my regular size. My regular size is a size 10. With these, I went with a nine and a half. But like I said, if you want a more loose fit, then just go with your regular size. I hope that helps because obviously sizing is subjective, but if you can try a pair of shoes on in store, I highly suggest you do that. When it comes to comfort with these 996, there's definitely nothing special here. These are a late 80s running shoe or lifestyle shoe. So you gotta think about it from that perspective. But for overall wear lifestyle, the 996 will definitely be all right. They definitely feel a lot like the 990 V1. They do feel like a 574, for example, even a 1300 or a 1400 as well. And the shoes come in the latest made in USA box, mostly navy and white color here. And here you have the official tag in SKU. All right, guys, so my final thoughts with these 996, starting with the quality and QC here. In terms of the materials that they use, New Balance, once again, never disappoints with a Made in USA New Balance sneaker because the suede here definitely feels high premium. And I love how they added different materials from a hairier suede to a more neutral suede all the way to the back and also throwing in some leather materials above the heel counter and also on the end logos. When it comes to the built and craftsmanship, I definitely see a huge upgrade compared to my older 996 that I have where around the heel stabilizer on the midsole you definitely saw some gaps and saw a lot of glue stains on here they definitely closed that you barely see any gaps here on the lateral side but you will see a little bit of glue stains above the heel counter but because the heel counter is in the tan suede you can barely see that unless you really get up close so the main question that i have for you guys is where does the 996 fall within the 99x lineage and also other made in usa sneakers that look very similar to the 996 for example the 1300 and also the 1400. I feel like New Balance changed the perspective on the 996, originally being a made sneaker to then being a non-made sneaker to now being a made sneaker. So it does create some confusion there because people probably didn't see the 996 as a high premium, high quality shoe because it was being mostly made as a cheaper version, which I'm assuming New Balance did that to reduce cost because probably the 996 was not selling enough compared to other popular models. Also, the 996 does get overshadowed in popularity by the 997 and 998. So I guess it did make sense to reduce the quality and reduce the price on the 996 instead of spending the money on a made version and also having a high retail price where people were probably not gonna buy it. But in my opinion, guys, this colorway and the materials that they added on this one definitely feel very nice. This colorway looks amazing in my opinion. I know it's just a navy color, but I do like navy and I do like that this navy is associated with Teddy Santis and anything that Teddy Santis does under New Balance, I feel like it's gonna be a hit. But I'm actually surprised and I think the New Balance probably made a mistake here. They should have released this version in collaboration with Emily Andor, because if that would happen, I'm pretty sure this colorway would not be sitting on the Emily Andor website right now if they would have done that. But overall, guys, this is a clean colorway. This shoe is definitely very wearable. There's other colorways of the 996 that will be coming out as well, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. So with all that being said, guys, let me put these on and show you how they look on feet. So that's it for me guys. Hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the New Balance 996 made in USA and the Navy colorway. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the 996 in general. And like always guys, thank you so much for tuning in to all the new subscribers. Thank you. If this is your first time stopping by. Feel free to subscribe, like the video, comment below. Also follow me on Instagram at Guy and Kicks. I'll leave some affiliated links in the description below. So definitely check that out if interested. And that's it guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.